Were you a huge Queen fan? I, yeah, I, mean, I love Queen like everybody else, but I didn't know the intimate details of, of Freddie's life or, or Queen's life. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just, it was fascinating. As soon as I heard I might even have the job, I just started watching all the archival footage, every interview I could get my hands on. And, uh, and you know, then I, I, we weren't officially greenlit, so I flew myself out to London and started taking singing lessons and piano lessons. I sat down with choreographers and I realized, oh, I don't need a choreographer, because this guy wasn't, he wasn't choreographed. He was spontaneous in every moment. Every time he got on stage, you never knew what he was gonna do. And I wanted to have that ability when I was out there. I never wanted the camera to know where I would be or what the other actors, uh, um, what, I didn't want them to anticipate anything. So I worked with uh, a movement coach. So you just like went, it was just free form. Like when you, when you would be on stage, you would just, just move. Yeah, well, she, she could call something out. I'll show you. Okay. But, yeah. I'd like to see it. Okay. Well, she just. <laughs> well, she just. She could be. Uh, she'd go. Okay. Well, like, say you have uh, a bubble bath streaming down your back, and I'd be like, okay. And then she'd go. Now giraffe it. And she'd go. Now serve me some spaghetti. <laughs> and uh, it'd be little things like that. Yeah, and then we'd and then we'd start to put it together into yeah. a sequence of moves. And so that's you in in the film. It's it's, it's a combination, it's right? It's a combination. It's I had to sing every single day, so I had to get my voice right, so it wouldn't go throughout the course of filming. But eventually, Brian May and Roger Taylor, the legendary members of Queen, uh, incorporated as much of Freddie as they could, and it's mixed in with my voice a little bit here and there and another singer named Mark Martell who's got an incredible voice, but it's done fairly seamlessly, yeah. I feel. Because it, I thought if you are lip singing, it doesn't look like it. You're, it's, so it's you singing yeah. and then, then and some of the times it is you and some of the times, but you're always singing. Yeah, I'm always giving it my all, but uh, yeah, it's, it, it's mixed in there finally with a whole lot of Freddie Mercury. And then with wearing the, the teeth, um, was that uncomfortable? It must have been at first, very uncomfortable. I did, the teeth took a while to get used to. Uh, it's hard to talk in them, hard to sing in them, and hard to kiss in them, but I appreciated them so much by the end of it. I just, uh, I felt naked without them. They were really? so pretty. <laughs> Yeah, and you, you as kept a, them, right? I kept them, and then I did. I said, "What would Freddie do? He'd keep something, and then he'd go full Freddie with it and do the most ostentatious thing he could." So, I <laughs> wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> I had them cast in gold. Wow! <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh my God. And those, can, I'm not gonna put them in my mouth. No, but. you have a grill now. You I have, have a grill, yeah. I have a Freddy grill, and I think, I think he'd be tickled by these bad Yes, boys. he would. This is amazing. Well, you're, you're amazing. I mean, you're great, and Mr. Robot, you're great, and I know that's ending, so that's gotta be weird to be winding that down. Yeah. Um, but you've just got a giant hit on your hands. This Thank is an you. amazing movie. So, Bohemian Rhapsody is in theaters everywhere tomorrow. Y'all gotta go see it. Thank it's you. A, whether you're a Queen fan or not, you're gonna love this movie. We'll be Thank back. You.